Hello everyone, this is Crazy Luigi Ultra here, and welcome to another episode of Mario Kart 8 200cc Cups. Last time we started all things in the Egg Cup, and we did all three of us, but now we're going to start things in the Triforce Cup as you play as someone obviously from the Legend of, Zero, Legend of Zelda series, which can be revealed soon after we're done with this um, little um, course introduction here. But yeah, but this is um, Wario's Goldmine from Mario Kart Wii really is not really my um favorite course of all in that game also in this game so kind of mixed about that but um but that stays returning though but anyway i'm playing as link obviously because this is a triforce cup and i'm playing as him in the airship car with the uh, triforce tires and i also have the hyrulean um kites hope i'm saying that right because i never played the Zelda series as much as the mario series but anyway i know link has a bike called the, the master cycle but truth is i am Horrible with bikes in this game. That and also in Mario Kart Wii. I am horrible with, um, in bikes in this game, especially the inward drift, like the um, master cycle and the mock. Not mock bike, the sports bike. So that's why I decided to choose the airship cart for um. Basically, the cart itself has like good. Well, not actually good. It's more like a medium handling. And acceleration boost, I don't know. But I know it's worse with lightweights because they're Yeah, I know they were getting like a super um uh, acceleration and also um handling bonus but not speed and weight. Since they're lightweights they don't have really the best speed and weight of all though. But anyway, this is Triforce Cup. We're playing as Link, the hero of time, going throughout stages of Warrior's Gold Mine, which again still don't like. I just don't really like Warriors Goldmine. I used to like it, but now I just don't like it. I think that the, the main reason why I hate this stage is just that the mine cars that I always get screwed over by items here, but maybe just screwed over items there. But also something new about this course, it's anti-gravity of course. That part is now anti-gravity. And there's a, also a little shortcut down there in the first, well, second turn or whatever. But that was quick. As I said before, this is 200 CC. You're going super, super fast, so, huh, yeah. Time for the next course, which is SNES Rainbow Road. This makes its um, third appearance as a retro course and its fourth appearance at overall in the Mario Kart series. This is the only Rainbow Road of all that makes more than one appearance. This course was in Super Mario Kart, obviously. Then it returns. I would say it counts in Mario Kart Super Circuit. Well, I don't know that it does since it brought back all the cups from back from Super Mario Kart in this game. But it also came back from Mario and Mario Kart 7 as far as the Lightning Cup. Strangely. And wait, no. Oh, no, that was the Special Cup. The extra Special Cup in, in uh, Mario Kart Super Circuit. But anyway, SNES Rainbow Road in this version takes its appearance basically from Mario Kart 7 by having the. Um, Thwomps and extra places, a little ramp thing, which I really never take. And also these little ramps here, which I recommend that you avoid them at all costs on 200 CC unless you don't want to get um booted off the stage. Because I have done it before and it is not good. As you saw right there, I did like a little um jump boost off that ramp there. You can also kind of do that with 200 CC without using a shroom or just use a speedy character. That is though, but. Make sure you also drift by before you go in a turn which you will fall off here. Also this stage is notorious for um wow a shock happened. For is notorious for also lapping other computer players or other players who also fall off because they can't handle the speed of SNS Rainbow Road. Which is like which is also ironic though. I thought this would be the hardest Rainbow Road in 20 CC, but turns out it isn't. The Wii U version is this one is really isn't that hard. I fall off I fell off like not even once. Well, if I do fall off, that's because I got pushed off or because of a banana. But anyway, I will just post commentary again. Next, start off with the original course. It's not a retro course. It is Ice Ice Outpost. This is a new, completely original stage. Not a deal. No, it is a DLC track, but not a retro stage. It takes place on a um, random ice resort with a bunch of toes and a little ice shack. It's light looking at this and stuff. Also, apparently this is called Morton's, on the side of it, it's called Morton's Construction. Apparently the Koopa Kids are really trying to, like, get their names known. Because this is really the first game they're actually playable. The second game they've been playable is Super Smash, Super Smash Bros. for Wii U and 3DS. 
as Argent Skin said about his junior. In case you probably already know that. Also, I also forgot to mention this too. I have three stars on all the cups on 200cc. Um, the Super Bell Cup took me at least two attempts because um, Cheese Land on 200cc before I got to um, practice it a little bit more is very, very hard. It is very, very, very hard. But I got through that. And also, Ribbon Row is also another very hard course on 200cc. So it's Neo Bowser City. Yeah, um, Ice, 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 Ice Outpost is not one of the hardest tracks on 200cc. Um, out of this cup, I would say, in my honest opinion, that none of these courses in, in um, the Triforce Cup on 200cc is really that difficult. Since I can, you know, do this without failing. Foreshadowing what's going to happen up next in the very end, too. Yeah, I'm really excited to do commentary again. You know, in the first part, I did something a little bit nervous. But now, I'm safe. And safe. And, oh, speaking of safe, uh, blue shall happen. Thanks. By the way, I was also recording this on Thunderstorm, so, yeah. And this one thing has turned bad, because I get hit with a blue shell. I was going all over the course, and I end up in third place. Which is quite unfortunate, so now I can't get three stars. Which I already have, so it really doesn't really matter. I only get, like, one star, so. Yeah, but unfortunately, we came in third place instead of first place. Let's see if we can redeem, redeem ourselves in Hyrule Circuit, which is Link's area. This is the Hyrule Castle. Again, I have never... I have played Legend of Zelda. Yeah, I have. I played the first one. Um, Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask. I think I played Zelda 2. If you count playing on NES Remix 2, count. Because... That's the, really the first time I actually played Zelda 2, which is not really my, one of my favorite Zelda games. The one I, the first, the very first Zelda game I played was actually Ocarina of Time, which I got lost because I was a child and I was this young link. But anyway, this is Hyrule Circuit, which is based on the Legend of Zelda series. We're also in Hyrule Castle, which um, coins are replaced by rupees. I say rupees, right? Not root or. Something else. I, said. I thought these were coins. Like, why do I keep getting coins? Wait, wait. These are not coins. These are something else too. Like, oh, these are rupees. Wow. I yeah. I yeah. Zelda series to me is like, meh. I it's not meh. I like the Zelda series. I just don't play it as much though. But you can see, I never trick right there because um, if I do, well, really nothing would happen. Just that I just don't really do it at all though. But in that um part that we just passed through, you can um. If you touch those things three times, the, um, you can actually go through a shortcut and um, trick with the um, Master Sword by going through it too. Which I really can't do with 200 CC since we're going super fast, and I can only get like one or two if lucky, though. But anyway, this is the third lap. Let's see if I can redeem myself and I get here with another blue shell. Since again, the items are balanced. If you said it like that, because the items are not really as balanced as I think they are. Uh, you can get a coin, uh, and the person ahead of you gets a green shell. Fun, a green shell. Ooh, ooh, I, I actually took a shortcut. Actually, well, you can also take Shuma's cuts too in his um track too. But I just jumping over them though. But yeah, we got first place as Link. Not all courses had a first place win, but you know it just the thoughts that counts. I got first place with 55 points. Now I don't really even view those anyway. But anyway, thanks for watching this um video, Mario Kart 8, Triforce Cup 20 CC. See you guys next time when we do the Crossing Cup as Villager. See you guys then.